It was a four-game win streak that propelled Parkland to a championship-winning year. Battling hardship after hardship has left those returning here in 2023 better off and even more motivated for what's to come this season. Yeah, I mean, we knew, like, it's a long season. That's what Coach kept telling us. I mean, we knew as soon as we all got back and all hit the ground running, it was gonna, we were going to be up at the top. So I think we know it's just not – it's a long season, and we have to know that. I think it really showed us how to overcome adversity. You know, we got a lot of returning seniors, so we got that we got that toughness coming back. So if we have any problems this year, we'll be able to go right through it. Yeah, the experience last year uh, for what they did and what they accomplished, uh, you know, they were on a mission in the playoffs after the year we had, and uh, hopefully it'll just pay off. I think they're uh, just as hungry this year as they were, you know, they were in the playoffs last year. And, uh, these seniors just want to put a, a good campaign together. The return of 2000 yard passer Luke Spang along with running back Trey Tremba who finished with 26 total touchdowns a season ago should be enough to scare opposing defenses this season, especially when the two agree that now with yet another year of experience under their belts, they are even more dangerous than they were a season ago. I think I definitely got faster and more explosive this offseason put on some weight, so I think that might I might have that more this year too. He's a, a third year starter and uh, he's done such a, uh, a good job as a leader, but a lot more just commanding the game for us, making the right reads and getting us in the right situations. I, mean, I, think, I think me and Spang in the backfield in our, in our run game, our, our run game's looking good this year, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, you know, I worked hard in the weight room and then I got faster. Uh, I was a district champ for track in the 100, so got a little faster, so I'm super excited to just show my, show my new skills. But if there's one positive to take away from that injury plagued year is that there might be some new and dynamic faces set to take the field that could definitely surprise their opponents. I think we have weapons that haven't been some new guys that didn't have as big as a role last year. Jendell was out all year. Connor Johns has major steps in his career. So and then we obviously returned Trey and even Leo Darman, Alex Kelchner. They're two guys that maybe didn't play as much last year, but look great in this this season. And with that also comes high expectations and goals set for this season. Yeah, I think obviously win districts and repeat, mm -hmm. make a run in states, but I think we want to have a, a just a good fun year too. It's not just, I mean, wins and losses are big, but I think this group, we can have a lot of fun. We're just so close on and off the field. So I think that's just awesome this year. You know, we knew we would have a target on our back. So we, we just wanted to we're have an undefeated season this year. Didn't have a good season last year. So undefeated season, take it right into the districts and win districts and then make a state run. Yeah, yeah. And we want to come back. We want to show them that it wasn't a fluke last year. You know, we've shown that we're the, we're the team to beat. At Parkland, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network.